<laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, my last night in Bangkok, before I checked myself in to the clinic where I was going to have the surgery, I was just hanging out with a bunch of strippers, like you do. And um, we were like sitting on the street uh, corner drinking whiskey, which is like how I like to live my life. And um, and then it, like really late into the night, like two in the morning, uh, we ran out of whiskey. And so I, um, I stood up to say my goodbyes. And then one of the dudes, one of the strippers, um, he got up and he was like, uh, should we go back to your hotel? <laughs> and I was like, all of you? <laughs> Sex tourism can be so cliche. It's not radically queer, it's totally gay. I'm typecast, over, determined, and flat on my back. Have I just lost my edge? So much to unpack. These are the thoughts going through my head. Getting gang banged by Thai strippers in a king-size bed. might be one too many but two days from now I won't have any still four other dicks might be more than I needed four dicks may have my threshold exceeded I don't want to come off sounding banal but I can't quite seem to keep track of them all these are the thoughts going through Place. Oh, they offered to film it too, but I was like, I'm good. <laughs> my body, my body, my body is overtaken by this sacred rite. I see myself above myself, a departing queen, adored and devoured. Prepare me, prepare me, prepare me for angel of force sacrifice. Savor the stem that will soon be deflowered I know for them this is employment but it seems like they find some enjoyment outside Bangkok's under martial law inside I'm playing petit bourgeois I don't want to make this politically crude but is it still exploitation if we're all in the mood these are the thoughts going through my head. Getting gang banged by Thai strippers in a king size bed. To one, oh, to one, you anchor me the moment we kiss. To one, oh, to one, there's more to life than transient bliss. And I can fall asleep in your arms. Size bed. 